about to go downtown. Downtown K. Hey. Downtown. You about to go downtown. Good morning, good afternoon, good night, and welcome to another week's episode of Downtown World. And today we do have special guest Stephen Dexter, designer, serial entrepreneur with us this week. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Glad to be here. Thank you for joining us. And you know, the welcome in 2021 is even stronger because with this whole pandemic and everything going on in the world, you never know. Like I literally just lost someone last week and it, it's oh, been... um. It's been a lot of RAPs, I'd say, since like 2020 to now. It's more than ever for me, especially. So welcome. <laughs> Glad to see you here, King. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. So here at downtown, don't waste no time with negativity. A question that I like to ask all of our guests is, you know, you have you have like situations where definitely it can be negative. No hands no questions asked about it. It was a negative situation, but somehow, mm -hmm. some way you found a way to not waste any time with negativity. What right. is the situation that you're okay with sharing? It doesn't have to be recent where like you definitely surprised yourself even, and you did, you chose not to waste any time with en negativity. Um, I basically lived my life that way. Um, for a long time, I've been um, doing a lot of studying on mindsetting and focusing on nothing but positive things that's in your in your circle or in your life rather than focus on the negative in your life. Um, it could be from you know personal or business. I, I train myself. I'm, I'm, it's a process basically, but um, I, I continue to do it every single day. It's a mindset. You change the mindset. Something happens in your life. Um, you know how life is sometimes life just kicks in the jaw, you know. Yeah. Uh, and when that thing, when that time happens, just remember who you are. And I do that constantly. I just, it's a process. Yeah. And um, I, I, I just choose to not focus on the negative of my life. That's in my life. That's, that's coming in my life. I rather focus on the positive. It's really simple. Um, it can get grindy sometimes, but you know, most of the time it's a, it's a, it's work. <laughs> you know, it's work. Oh, definitely. Definitely. And like, you know, even sometimes, especially for entrepreneurs like yourself, you definitely, it's not as easy as people may feel like it is, right? They mm. only see the end result. They don't know the sleepless nights, the last like means of checks or whatever the case is that you spend or put into your dreams and you're Absolutely. to make it a reality. So yeah. it's very important to have that mindset. Absolutely. I mean, with my sneakers, the way it came out, um, it, it spills controversy. So yes, I knew, I knew going into it, I knew going into it, I was going to catch a lot of, you know, you know, negative comments. Well, hold, on, hold on, hold yeah, on, hold on. So then, let me ask you because sure. I need to know first of all what what question. You, you know the position is very lovely, very beautiful. Absolutely. You know. <laughs> what inspired you to put that moment on material for people? That's a good question. Um, what happened was, okay, this is, I'm going to make a short story. This um, is all about you. It's your time. Okay. okay. So. <laughs> it, it, it forms, it formed in a, in a weird way that I didn't know at the time what it was. Um, I'm a former musician. So when um, I heard about what it was, I was kind of, wow, it's kind of cool. What it is, is it's called sex or sexual transmutation. And what that is, is when you take the, the form of sex, the sexual energy of that, yeah. and you can transform it to another form. Yeah. That's what sex transformation is. It's like, it's like it when- What I'm is the term again? Form, Sorry? It's called sex transmutation. Sex transmutation. Correct, correct. Okay. Um, it's like it's the same thing as when an artist, like a musician, uh, let's say um, a musician gets his heart broken, okay, and that that energy that he feels, all that energy, that emotion, he puts into a song. Mm. Okay, it's, it's it's pretty much the same thing. Um, I took I was 
I choose to be celibate for two years. And within that time, when I was creating these sneakers, that energy that I was missing went into my shoes. Yeah. So without me even focusing and thinking about it, that's what was created. So that's pretty much where it came from. So during <laughs> celibacy, when you're like steering away from sex, yeah, yeah, you're also yeah. putting the energy of sex. Absolutely. Out Absolutely. there. I mean, that's what, I mean, you know, I'm a, like I said, I'm a musician. So I, by natural, I train myself to do things like that. Um, okay. You know, a lot of musicians, they are music, um, people that's in music, they do the same thing. You know, they get their heart broken or they're going to even love. They start writing love songs or whatever like that about their girl or whatever. It's the same thing. You just take one form of that energy and transform it to another energy. So I'll be honest. You 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 partially answered my question, you know, because I feel like that is a good, um, I feel like celibacy, you said, inspired yes. that energy. Yes. But then yes. what was that thought process now to put that, publicly to your designs, like for people, as I said. <laughs> it, well, you had, like, it, was actually, it was actually people. Uh, when they oh. seen it, the reaction was, yo, you know, it's like, man, that's bad, you know, that's, that's shit, you know? So it was really people that pretty much put me in this position I am. Um, if if I would have got a lot of icks or a lot of no's or a lot of, um, you know, negative comments, I probably wouldn't have did it. You know, I've probably been shy away with it, but um, I haven't got not really, not really, uh, nobody has said anything negative about it. You know, if they did, they didn't tell me or they didn't post anything on my, on my, on my sites or anything. So, you so know. What is, for, what is some of the controversy that like you get behind it? That oh, you, like, I've been called the NWA of sneakers, <laughs> you know, I've been called uh, Hugh Hafner. <laughs> Is, mm-hmm. is sex transmutation, is that a part of, like, is that a fashion lane? Um, No, that's anybody. Uh, oh, okay, okay. Just putting <laughs> that energy to something outside okay. of that. Yeah, because if, if I was writing a song and okay. I was going through that, that emotion, I'd probably write some sex songs, whatever. It okay. just so happened. I'm a designer. I design sneakers, and yes. that came out. That was birth. So. Okay. So, sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to clarify that. So, Back to who? Back to what you were explaining. Mm-hmm. And I must ask this question because the audience is going to want to know. I want to know. And mm-hmm. you can be real with me, you know? I'm yeah, very sure. I'm going to tell you the truth. Exactly. All of the women around me, everyone around me, they know I'm very, like, comfortable speaking mm-hmm. about things in this nature. So <laughs> don't yeah. feel like you have to properly put yeah. things for me. I'm here with no you. Problem. No problem. No problem. <laughs> right? you know, well, well, on the other side, Okay. Yeah. Um, when I did, for, when I first designed it, um, I first I looked at it. I really like actually just stared at it, you know. And um, for about 15, 20 minutes, just looked at it, and I just thought about all the stuff that's going to happen once these shoes come out. You know, the mm-hmm. negative, the positive, the money, whatever. And and I just started to smile because I just knew, you know, I don't even really give a damn about what people say anyway. You know. Don't you but love that feeling? To, I started to smile because I thought, man, this is really going to be huge, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'm in the hip-hop culture and you know, my, my boys, you know, I know they're going to be rocking it, you know. And um, so I was really, I was really um, happy that it came out. I didn't know what it was at the time. But um, but like I said, I tell you one time, um, I remember uh, Diddy did an interview um, back in the 90s, you know. Yeah. And I remember what he said in an interview. He said, he pointed at his Bentley. He said, if you don't have one of these motherfuckers right here, you're not a baller. And I remember that. I remember that stuck with me, you know? So for me, when I did these sneakers, you know, I look at my guys and my people that's in hip hop culture. I said, man, if you don't have these sneakers, this represent hip hop. If you don't have these sneakers right here, you know, you just got to have a pair in your closet. You just got to have a pair. It's like when, you know, you know, uh, people that's in New York, they wear Tim's. You just have to have a pair. It, it's just part of your closet, your closet, you know, or makeup. You just have some Tim's. I feel the same way about these sneakers. You just have to have a pair. If you're in hip hop culture, any form, you have to have a pair of my sneakers. And from that point, I say, okay, I'm gonna do, let's do this. 
I'm going to rock it. And I don't really listen to a lot of people talk about it um, yet because I'm still creating a buzz. Thank yeah. God. Um, I'm, some, I'm still doing it. So I haven't really heard a lot of negative yet. Yeah. But once it blows, I pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I hear some people talking about, yeah, what do you should do this? You shouldn't do that to that. Yeah. But I don't really give a damn. Yeah, what it is. I'm a hip hop and whatever, you know. Um, so, so I don't go ahead. So was it like, is that the the genre of music you mostly like I guess feel like it could market well? Well like where do you see it, you know, it if, was you're, if you're okay with sharing, where do you see some of this vision taking you? Because it very wow. it definitely grabs your attention. It's very intriguing, interesting, it carries an energy. You know, it's the, the, well, the hip hop culture right now is so mainstream that it's in every commercial, it's in every ad, it's in every form of of, of, of advertising. So, um, you know, it's perfect timing for it right now. Uh, I think every gender would 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 like it. You know, would take it and buy it because of how mainstream it is. It's the first of its kind. You know. Um, I'm kind of like making history here, <laughs> basically. Most definitely. It, it, especially, especially if it takes off, you know. Most um, definitely, when so it takes off. When it takes off, correct, exactly. So you know, I'm I'm excited just right now, just thinking about that. If I, I can't really get into the what is and you know, uh, what do you think about this? I don't really get into that. I really think about the positive and my vision, how I see it coming out, the integrity of it. Because I don't want to, I could easily go to any porn, you know, uh, company and say, yo, put my stickers on, you know, yeah. and they would gladly do it. Definitely. And that's that's, a huge my, that's huge. not my lane. That's not my lane. You know, yeah. I want money. I want fame. I want to, to be that, that particular um, designer that has respect of my peers, yeah. but I don't want to go that way as far as porn and, and all that. That's not my thing. That's not what it's about. You exactly. know, I'm an artist. So I look at it like Michelangelo or the guys that's in, you know, Rome doing those sculptures. That's how I look at it. Yeah. You know, other people might look at it as some, you know, kind of raunchy, but that's on you. Yeah. <laughs> I look at it like art. So yeah. um, it, I have an integrity about it. So that's why I'm keeping it everything pretty much out of the hands of the porn industry. I have a lot of offers. Yeah, you know? for sure. And uh, yeah. yeah. And they want it bad in the stores, but no, nope, not doing yeah. it. Not doing it. Going that way. I respect so. that. I respect that. Yeah. Um, and definitely when you're adding value, it's mm-hmm. important to stick to like your vision. Like, you exactly. know because if I go porn, I can never get out of it. I can no. never bring it to mainstream. You'll always I can have that. It. It's okay. always be because to the porn. And I don't want that. You yeah. know, I want it to be uh, eventually, I want to be just like hip hop. When in the nineties, early nineties, when Gangsta Rap came out in, in you know in LA, yeah. people hated. You had a precedent. Everybody to talk about these Snoop Dogg and they bring the CDs. Now look at Snoop. He's with Martha Stewart. <laughs> you know, they yeah. like, they hated him before. Now they love him now. So I want to be the same category. You know, like I said before, people look at me it's like, man, you like the end of it. You know, you're gonna be hated. People gonna bring you sneakers. I don't care. As long as they buy it, okay, right. whatever. Yeah. So, are you yeah, I'm into, in that lane. I'm in that lane there. Are you into like cryptocurrency and stuff like that? I was. I have a really close friend uh, here in Miami that's into that. Um, but personally, I know I'm not into it. Because honestly, like if I were you, especially with your logo, mm-hmm. I would definitely look into NFTs. Really? Definitely something you should look into. I feel like for things like artists like yourself and things of mm-hmm. that nature, like you can, there's a lot of ways that you could definitely market on that logo, or even if, you know, you have a value set and when people invest, mm. you can get a pair of your shoe to, there's so many, trust me, like, into, really? like, yeah. I gotta read it, but I gotta talk, I gotta talk to Shannon. You know? Yeah, definitely talk to him, call him. <laughs> no, in the art world, you guys, you guys are winning with that. Like, definitely, there's yeah. a lot of ways you can go about it. So definitely look into it. <laughs> That's just a bit of my nerd. My nerd vibes, I'm a bit of a nerd, but I got you. <laughs> I, got I, got you. you. I got you. I'm a, I'm gonna definitely go this. No, seriously, this. seriously, because like I'm sure I'm not sure if you've seen the news, there's things with like Azalea Bang. She just sold like just the audio of like 
you know, her sex tape and got like, I'm pretty sure it was like a couple of mil off of it. You know, definitely when you look at people like Mark Cuban and think yeah. they're making like a lot of art and things. Jim Jones just did something with the yeah. NFTs, like with the Tory Lanez put out three tracks as like an NFT and just released it as that. And it's a way for people to like invest in the long run. Cause I am definitely one of those people that are pro um, this digital currency world. So uh-huh. definitely like, I really do feel like it's something that can benefit you for sure. Especially with where you are. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Um, so it's <laughs> called, it's called, uh, <laughs> NFT. Yeah. NFTs. All right. I'm going to yeah. check it out. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Um, it will get it will bring you down a rabbit hole but trust me like limitless (laughs) i'm definitely gonna check it out tonight i'm I'm gonna gonna call shannon i'm like yo man tell me about this stuff you know i want to yeah these are the things that have me up in the night okay (laughs) right but you know what also um sorry if i'm you know kind of digging but what also inspired you to put it on a shoe and not like another piece of material like a print on a silk scarf or I have shoes. I have hoodies. I have t-shirts. Yes, you do. But I see, like, you you mostly promote the lo- that logo on like the shoes. My my when I first started, I wanted to get in the fashion business so bad. And um, what happened was I tried to go to school, and they wouldn't allow me to go to school uh, for some reason. We could talk about that a little later. But make yeah. a long story short, they won't allow me to go to school. So what I decided to do was learn it by myself and. What I've known was I love sneakers. You know, I'm a sneaker guy, jeans, whatever. And I thought to myself, that would be the fastest way to introduce myself into the business, you know. So I just, you know, I started to design just regular sneakers, you know. Uh, sneakers that I like, casual, like Tom Ford's and things like that, you know. And like I said, at the same time, <laughs> yeah, I, go, I designed those sneakers that came out. So um, I, I knew I needed something that's going to be controversy also that we're going to represent my personality and Miami because you know like I said Miami Lit. Sexy. <laughs> exactly so um I know I wanted to design something like that but I didn't know I was going to come out with something like this it was just I I, I, I never forget it I sat down I was designing and I said I'm gonna, I looked at the word sex <clears throat> looked at the word sex mm. at the last phrase of the definition of sex it says poor man's polo and i'm thinking what poor the man's fuck? polo poor man's polo i'm thinking what the fuck is it you know so i was look i was thinking okay i know what poor man is right and i don't know what polo is what the hell they had to do with sex okay. so i think about i start thinking about ralph lauren he's riding a horse doing the polo stick you know and i start thinking okay riding a horse stick yeah. ah i got it now so I start, <laughs> So I start designing, I start designing different positions. Yeah. And the one that looked better was that. So I stuck on the on the on the on the sneak on my design just that may at be me. the marketing right there. <laughs> Is exactly how it was born. The, the the but I'm saying that may be the marketing right there. Yeah. Like the 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 taboo, like <laughs> Ralph, Ralph Lord, like you know what I mean? Polo, like. Yeah, um, this is your pop. This is your pop. As soon as you start seeing it, I'm like, oh my gosh, like, yes, I get it. Like, yeah. yeah. Sex, poor man's polo. It's like, okay, this is what it is. Poor man can't ride the polo. polo. Like, yeah, it's like, this poor man thing. <laughs> We're just swimming in ideas tonight. <laughs> That's what it is. That's what yeah. happened. It's a true story. It's exactly what happened. It wasn't well, planned. It wasn't just, it just happened. I think when things like that happen, it's, it's the best. You know, it's, yeah. it's just so natural. Yeah. Were you on like a bender at all? Were you drinking no. at night? No, no, no. I was completely I don't sober. Drink. No, I was. I was totally sober. Yeah. Um, I decided to be Sullivan. I was tired of dealing with women. I wanted to just focus on my career and just get this thing done. Yeah. And I'll start a new career. I was into yeah. music first, and I went and bought a restaurant, sold that, moved down to South Florida, and I was like. I want to get in the fashion, but I know how to draw, that yeah. kind of stuff. So I just wanted to focus on that. Right. And you had to lock in. Locked in. And it just happened. You know, I was like, wow. That's and cool. I didn't know what it was called until my girls, like, 
that's in the book. Um, she she wanted me to read the book. Um, I think it's right here. So I think and grow rich by Napoleon and Hill. Yes. And that yes. sex transmutation definition is in that book. You know, I never noticed that. Yeah, it's in that book. I only read it twice because I mm-hmm. I've been told you definitely like I learned something new every time. Yeah. So it's in that book. It's in my read the book. It's in there. If I read the book and I read that definition, I'm like, wow, that's me. Yeah. I, it's just like writing a song. You know, if I write a song right now, what what am I going through right now? What kind of emotion is happening? I'll write about that. And that's it's, mm-hmm. I don't want I don't want to do anything that's not natural. I don't want to do anything just just to do it. It has to come from here. And that's the beautiful thing about my sneakers. It is me. Yeah. And that's yeah. like honestly, that's how you should feel when you look at what you build and what you're trying to put out into the world. It should represent you. Like for me, downtown, don't waste no time with negativity. Mm-hmm. I was really going through a lot of like <laughs> things yeah. Yeah. in life, like seriously. And I was searching for answers and motivation and mm-hmm. ways to carry me through and not end it all. You know what I mean? Yeah. And with that, sharing it with others and sharing what I was learning and things that were helping to carry me through, foods that were helping me to feel better. That's why we also say eat fruit and mind your business. All right. It's like, everybody goes to it every day. I learned that everybody go to a transmission, transform some kind of way. Yep. You know, you have a, a, a bad morning. You're going to, that, that's going to, that whole day, things going to happen to you. Exactly. You know, it's, gonna be, it's just one thing after another, one thing after another. Okay. It's just, everybody go through it. It's just channeling in, you know, one thing like I did. I just closed my curtains. I closed everything. I just channeled on one thing, which was my designs. Yeah. And it came out the way it came out. And I'm happy. I, I love it. So with some of your hoodies, like, <clears throat> explain some of the designs because I see like I feel like some of them kind of have like this vape inspired energy mm-hmm. and then like some of them give me like a you know not I don't want to say Asian but like not that only Asians are associated with dragons but absolutely, know, absolutely. When inspired right. some more of your designs or just your designs in period like because I'm sure celibacy, celibacy isn't what mm-hmm. inspires the whole brand so there's obviously different right. sides to you the- Everything that I do for now on since I did these sneakers has come from some kind of form of what I'm going through or mm-hmm. what I what I vision, what I see. As an artist, um, an artist as a musician or art or painting, whatever, they travel around the world to see different ideas or see different cultures or see different experiences, experience different experiences to write their songs or to paint, whatever. And I do the same thing. I watch movies. And I talk to a lot of people. I, <laughs> I watch, watch a lot watch, of movies. I watch a lot of movies, uh-huh. and and um, one one of my one of my um, my uh, hoodies is called Yum Yum, and um, I just love that word Yum Yum. So um, it had the dragons and everything like that on it, and I need I know I wanted a number, so I think okay, the only number I know that has to involve with sex is sixty nine. I, I threw it on there, you know. And I start creating things, different things and stuff like that. I wanted to be more flashy, you know. So the Yum Yum wanted to be more flashy. So I started to put in dragons. At the time, I was watching uh, that, so, that um, show called, um, uh, 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 on that Lord by the Rings. But uh, what's the one that came on? The dragons. Uh, um, um, the girl with the dragon came, tattoo? No, no, no. It's a series that came out. It, was like, it ended like last year. Um, oh, um, with the Tiger King guy? Yeah, what's the guy? What's the, you said Dragon. What's it called, right? Game of Thrones. That was oh, okay, 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 yes, yes, so yes. I was, I, was, I seen, I, I, I never seen it one episode in my life, right? So I seen one, I was thinking of like seven seasons or something. So I said, let me see the whole thing. So I went all the way back to the first. Yeah. And, and I watched it. Wow. Every single, I watched like every season one day like first season i watched one day second day i watched the third season i watched the whole entire thing in a week you know and i got so i got so involved in that show that i put dragons on i just said i want to see how it looks you <laughs> know i have not watched the series yet but everyone's telling me i should so i'm i'm definitely is it worth it 
up until the last episode. The ending, right? I started no, seeing that look, stuff on the Listen, if you, want, if you want to look at that show, that's perfectly fine, but do not look at the last episode. It will ruin it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Just say that, you know, it just ended. The last episode is going to kill it. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna hate it. Yeah, you're going to hate it. But, yeah, getting back to my, my hoodies, yeah. just what I feel. Just, you know, I, I some of the hoodies is not really flashy. I'm not a really flashy guy. Yeah. Well, I know guys in hip hop, they are. You know, I can see the guys on stage. So I I'm put the glass, the, the stones, I got stones on there, everything. So I do it for those guys. You know? um, but most of my hoodies, they just main track got my name on it, on the sleeves, got my logo on the chest. So sometimes I got logos inside, you know, just for regular people you yeah. know, that, that, that likes my, my art and likes my fashion. So that I don't want to be flashy. That I don't want to show the logo and everything, sis and I out in public, only on stage or only when they're going to a club, whatever, they want to you know, floss, they got their stuff. So I, for, for both people, for both sides, but still keep it apart, you know? Um, how has, um, how has like the pandemic has affected like your business during these times? Me personally, I'm blessed. I, I it haven't affected me at all, you know, person as far as money-wise. Mm-hmm. Um, sales, zero. And that's fine because we just starting out. The process. Um, I mean, yes, we're just starting out. And so I think with this pandemic, I, I'm, I have to think positive. I have to, you know, keep focused on, you know, on selling and on, on the positive part of it as far as the, the pandemic. So I know that we're going to start selling pretty soon. I know that things are going to really start taking off, you know. Um, Especially when everything goes back to normal, which I'm praying that this summer everything goes back to normal. Um, but if not, we're gonna weather the storm like we always do, and we're gonna wait until next year and kick it off then. But I'm not, I'm not in a rush, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna let things take its course. I'm very patient. Um, yeah. I don't want to make no mistakes exactly. and put myself out there and waste the opportunity to really shine when people not ready for it. You know, exactly. they worry about health and they worry about keeping their jobs and things like that. So I'm tough. very patient. I'm kind yeah. of lo- keeping it low key right now. I don't want to really get out there, but I'm ready. Personally, I'm like, I'm ready to roll, you know? Right. So, like um, but pandemic, I'm, I'm, we've been doing good, you know, exactly. God willing. I mean, God bless. And we've been really blessed this year. So, yeah. and last year too. So, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. We That's really, really good to hear. That's really good to hear. Um, to fellow entrepreneurs like myself, um, mm-hmm. what is one of the things that you have applied to your process for these moments where it feels like, you know, I'm ready, I have all this ready, but the world's not ready yet. And sometimes I feel like not all entrepreneurs understand that. And then they'll prematurely put out an idea or, you know, change whatever the case is applied to their business. And mm-hmm. that will not benefit it in a good way. And they're wondering why things aren't taking off the way it should. And it's because you put it out prematurely. You have to be patient. I mean, that's the number one thing I tell entrepreneurs and people that want to get into any business. You have to be really patient. You have to really know who you're going to be marketing to uh, and what they're going through at the time. Uh, what's your geographic or as far as like high end, mid, you know, mid range, low end. Uh, but the most important thing I could tell anybody that's starting a business, never, ever fucking give up. Excellent. Never, ever give up, you know, um, because if you just keep going, it could be a little something small, a phone call, whatever, a mail, whatever. It could be something small every single day. Eventually you're going to get to your destination, you know. Um, I can tell you right now, listen, I'm living in Miami right now, but tomorrow I'm going to start walking and I'm going to walk to Alaska. Now, in the natural, that sounds fucking crazy, you know? Yeah, but if yeah. I really do it, eventually I'm going to get to Alaska, you know what I mean? That's and that's the thing that with being an entrepreneur. It's the same thing. It's a process. You just got to keep on moving, you know? Be patient. Don't rush, but just keep on moving. Progress. Every day, progress on something. And eventually... It's going to show up in your life. It's going to manifest in your life like like a flower, you know. And that's how I've been doing it. That's how 
I tell people as far as starting any business, you know, I've been in several businesses and I worked through a lot. I feel a lot, you know. Um, That's part of it. It's, 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 it made me grow. It made me stronger. It made me focus on what I'm doing now. Um, but now that I'm, I've learned from those mistakes and those failures. Yeah. I learned to now be patient. You yeah. know, I learned to now take my steps and be cautious because um, mistakes can cost you uh, a lot of money, yeah. you know? So <laughs> if you're patient enough and just let things just progress on its natural base, because this right here, I couldn't put these shoes out, let's say, you know, 10 years ago. It wasn't ready for you. And if I did it 10 years ago, I'd be lost a lot of money. Yeah. I lost a lot of money in marketing, et cetera, et cetera. Now is the time, you know. Exactly. It's the time. But still, I'm still taking it slow. I'm still taking my time, you know, checking out how the world is going exactly. and what is going to be going. Um, and once the that once that NFT, time, mm -hmm. yeah, definitely check it out. Check it out. I'm a, I will yeah. definitely check it out. They want to check it out, and um, yeah, I need to. I need to do that because I have some of these right here. Like I said, I made some Timberlands kind too. I like. I I was looking on the side. I'm like, I'm really liking the designs. Everything's like has a clean cut. I feel like if you're like looking for a casual look, or you're mm -hmm. looking to like really dress it up, mm -hmm. you have like everything yeah. for that. Like Absolutely. in that spectrum, Absolutely. For, from yeah. show. I, I have a I have to come um a model wearing a suit. You know, with it, and he had the suit on, and he had this the black sneakers on. And it's like, ah, it's bad, you know. You can wear it any kind of way. It's casual, but you can wear it dressy. And you can wear it any kind of way. I also also have some women coming out too. Women's shoes coming out too, which Dope. is fun. like heels. <laughs> this is exciting. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be the shit. Believe me, it's gonna be the shit. And my main goal is my goal is to really sell a lot of shoes, but. I really want to do what Nike is doing, what Adidas doing. I want to sign artists. You know, with my women's shoes, I could definitely sign, uh, sign you know, Nicki Minaj or one of these ladies wearing my stuff with a contract. Stuff like that. You know, yeah. Snoop Dogg, definitely going to rock it, you know. Yeah. Sign these guys instead of signing with Nike. Sign with me. I want to be the, I want to be the Nike of hip-hop with the exactly. sneakers. Exactly. So, and definitely the goal. space is there to take. I feel like um, besides Yeezy, there hasn't really been, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Hip hop. Right. Yeah, What's there's been brands that come to hip hop, like Nike, Adidas, like, right, right. Uh, you know, this goes on. Right. But there hasn't been someone to, like you said, like you definitely, you fill that space, NWA <laughs> on the sneaker. I got my, my own lane. Exactly. And that's, that's one of the things I love about it. I have my own lane. I don't have to go that way, like Nike or Adidas or all those guys, or be signed to a contract. And just they just use my name and they're putting shoes out. No, no, no. I have control of what I want to put out. I have control of where I want to put out and things like that. So that's the beauty about it. That that I could do that. And also, like I said, entrepreneur. You know, I want to wake up when I want to wake up. Yeah. You know, I don't want to go to bed when I go to bed. You know what I mean? That kind of that freedom right there is everything to me. Everything. You know? That's what we're doing everything. it for. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. No, nope, truly do. So another um, staple <laughs> question that we do ask here at downtown, don't waste no time in negativity, is mm -hmm. you have the four elements. You mm -hmm. have earth, air, fire, and water. Yes. <laughs> I do it off the top of my head, so I'm like, I want to make sure I get it right. Mm -hmm. But you have those four elements. Which one do you feel like represents you the most and why? Water. Mm. Um, it is smooth, it's, mm. it's calm, but it crashes, you know. Mm. Uh, it definitely makes its presence, you know. It, it, it looks like it's innocent, like you swim in it, but there's some damn sharks in that damn water, you know what I mean? So, so listen, there are I, a lot of things that why we don't know. Exactly, about. exactly. It's it a little friendly, but then they, you drown in it, you know what I mean? So, I, I'm that's my personality, basically. Yeah. I'm a Gemini, so it's like. Um, I could be this way, I could be that way, you know. Yeah. Um, so water, I will say, probably fits me better than fire and earth and, and wind. Yeah. yeah. Water. No, I don't. 
That's so. So you mentioned um, earlier that you weren't able to get into the school. What was that yeah. about? Like, why? <laughs> I wanted to get into Fort Lauderdale Institute of Fashion, or the institute down here. And because uh, I know anything about fashion, I'm a musician. Yeah. No shit about it. So I want to learn this stuff, you know. And um, I took my my designs. I show you. I show you this right here. I show you some some jean designs. You can see that. Yep. I took some jeans it. to my designs to, to this school. And they were so impressed, they called the director of the school and told him to come check this guy. This guy is raw talent. You know, yeah. we need to put this guy in school. So I thought I was getting into school. They come into the next day, they call me to the office, to the administration, um, uh, the mission, I guess we call it, to talk, to ask me some questions. Like, okay, fine, I'll go there. Get into the office, they sit me down. There's three people in front of me, standing up. So I'm sitting down, they're like, um, have you ever changed your name? I was like, no, nah, my name is Stephen Tate. Have you ever um, been a woman? I'm like, what? And it's like, um, have you ever been to prison or anything like that? You know, do you have a nickname? Anything like that? I said, no. He said, well, on our records shows me that you never signed up for the the draft, which is, you know, the draft in the military. I'm thinking, I haven't signed up for the draft. He said, no, since you didn't sign up for the draft, we cannot allow you to go to the school. I'm thinking, wait a second. <laughs> you mean to tell me when I didn't sign up for the draft in 86, that's when I graduated. Just because I didn't sign up for the draft, I can't go to your school. Now it's like 2000, at the time it was like 2015, 14, something like that. He's like, yes, yes, sir. You, you can't go. Unless you're going to pay the whole full amount, which is $28,000 a year, you can't go. We can't sign you up. So I left the office, pissed, uh, left the office, walking down the street. So I thought to myself, you know what? This is not going to stop me. I'm going to the lobby right now and get all the books of fashion. I want all the people. I want rap loan books. I want, I want, I want, got all these books. And start studying fashion and learn. I already knew how to draw. Um, so I started learning the, 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 the business, the fashion business. And I put myself, I got a, um, I know a lady that knew how to sew. She had a class. I took that class to know how to sew, how to um, make patterns and stuff. I taught myself. And um, that's how I pretty much progressed. I'm still learning, basically. Okay. Um, so when I was pretty much confident as far as my ability to do this business, I said the quickest way I could do this business and get out there was the sneakers, you know, because I know a lot of kids and a lot of people in my culture wear sneakers. So I mean, just, that's how I pretty much got. Um, I couldn't go to school because I didn't sign for the draft. Wow. <laughs> so, that is it was crazy. Is that crazy. like a huge, like, is that seen as like a, a district? I think it was bullshit. Like... I think it was bullshit. You know, yeah. I, I mean, I think it's bullshit. Once that guy looked at me, he didn't think I don't think he knew I was black. And once yeah. the guy looked at me, yeah, tried to come up. If with I, when I think about it, he looked at me like he was excited, but when you see my color, like, oh, okay, we can't let this kid in, you know. But um, that's okay. I mean, it taught me something, taught me that, you know, you know, people are gonna be people. You can't let that that distraction get to you and, and, and knock you out of your dream, you know, or what you wanna do. So that was my first hiccup. Uh, yeah. So I just dropped some water, went on my own lane, created something that was great, and here I am. So I didn't let it. That's how Rockefeller started. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> you know? They couldn't get a deal. Yeah. Both yeah. Them, that's how it happens. That's exactly how it happens, you know. So I, I'm I put myself in that category. You know, I you know, you, you either hate me or like me. Okay. And either one, I really don't give a damn, basically. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I've been around the world so many times, but I, I don't, I don't, you know. Yeah. I don't care what nobody say, man. I keep to myself, you know, I do my thing. And if you like it, you like it. You don't. You don't. Well, you yeah. don't. So when it comes to Stephen Dexter mm -hmm. and your brand and where the vision that you see for it, where do you see this going? If you could just. In five years. If this thing blows up this year and fires, I'll be a billionaire. Definitely. Because the records, the well, 
Yeah, the record shows that I did my my um my business plan, and if it, everything progresses the way my business plan is, yeah, yeah it'll be a billion dollar company in five years, easy. easy, because it don't take a lot to sell my shoes. I mean, it don't take a lot. I should say, when to sell my shoes, it don't take a lot to sell to get that amount of money. You know, yeah. um, my shoes are expensive, and like right now, if I sell a thousand pair of shoes right now, that's a million dollars. So yeah. if I sell a hundred thousand dollars, it's a billion. So, yeah. um, and we got how many people in this world? Seven billion people. Yeah, a whole, a whole I lot. Sell, <laughs> is that I would sell a million shoes in this earth when this thing bombs off, and once that happens, it'll be a billion dollar company. You know, and in that progression, within the five years, I'll definitely be signing some artists to push it up some more. You know, with their followings and the people, they're gonna push it. So exactly. In five years, I see this as a billion dollar company, without without a doubt. You know, and uh, I know this. Yeah. A lot of people don't know, but I know it because it's the first of a kind. Everybody wants something new. Everybody wants something fresh. Yeah. And I have, I have. Oh my God! Now these right here, I have maybe all together seventy something designs. That's ready. One of them. And they all the shit. Yeah. You know, from yeah. boots. From from women's sandals, from heels, from um, women men boots, dress shoes. I have it all you now. And then I'm excited the, to see to see it unfold and to see when you know now yeah. it's more so than ever yeah. that we have to just really focus on building that legacy for and building that empire for our future generations. You know, absolutely, absolutely. And that's that's another thing you know we just said for the future. You know. Yeah. I want other, you know, when you go to school, you talk a certain way and you talk a certain way based upon the books and the teaching that you've been taught. Yeah. You know, for me, I haven't, I haven't got that. I haven't had that luxury. So I don't know no better. Yeah. I want to teach. I want to, I want not only entrepreneurs, but designers to say, to look at me and say, you know what? He did it his way. I can do he, it my he, way. He, he did not look at the bar. He didn't look at no boundaries. He just did things this way. I could do the same thing. You know, why not put this on my shoe? Why not do this and do that? You know, why can't I, why do I have to wait or think about what people are going to say or what people are going to uh, uh, react, how they're going to react to you? Yeah. I actually expose the intimacy, you know, yeah. with people. When if you look at it, literally like at themselves, like, I, I can tell you what you're thinking about when you look at my sneakers. You can let you know. I can tell when people look at my sneakers what they're thinking about, and it's funny to me. I'm like, okay, I got them. You know, <laughs> you think about this shit, or she think about that. You know, I got them. But and definitely because, like, when I think about your design, yeah, I remember like when I was younger and that popular design of like you know the velour tracksuits, mm-hmm. how it would have the wording on the like bum area. Of course. And it would say like cute or whatever <laughs> saying. Whatever, yeah. And girls were rinsing it. Like and when I think about it, I'm like legit, I was wearing words on my ass for like so that like literally I I could I could partially obviously I can't fully because you know your vision, but like mm-hmm. I definitely can connect with what you're saying and see it taking off. Absolutely. It it, it has to, you know. The, the way I'm going to market it is going to be, like I said, like PD just said, if you don't have these shoes, you ain't shit. If you, you, ain't shit. Talk, you ain't shit. And they're going to know what I'm talking about. People that's in the game, they're going to know what I'm talking about, you know, because mm-hmm. um, they rap about it. They talk about it. Every CD is like that from beginning of hip hop. They mm-hmm. talk about it. You know, it's the street. So if you don't have a pair of these right here in your closet, then you know, keep your Nikes, you know, whatever. Yeah. You ain't part of this. You don't, you know, you ain't part of this. You faking, you know. It's not for That's you. how I'm going to come at it. So, yes. you know, and then their followers, of course, you know, they're more hip-hop than some of these guys that's on TV, you know. They yeah. live it, of course. They're in their grit. They're in an underground club. They're going to eat this shit up, you know. They're going to eat it up. So, with that, and then coming mainstream with it, it's going to be, it's going to be something fun. It's going to be exciting. I can't wait. It's like, it's going to blow up. I it's can't exciting. Wait. Yeah, it's exciting. It's very exciting. I definitely like, love that feeling of like, you know, I look at things happening and, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, they don't even know what's about to drop. They don't even know what's about to come. Like, <laughs> yeah, it's going to, it's going to be hard. And 
um, you know, not to disrespect any of the, you know, the, the lines out there, you know, the Gucci's and the mm-hmm. Louis Vuitton, mm-hmm. not just, you know, disrespect those guys, because they already made their rep, you know, but it's going to give all culture something else, something new, something fresh to go grab, you know. And I'm going to have a lot of, I'm going to have a luggage. I mean, I got a lot of stuff I'm going to put out there. And um, oh, I'm making my own pattern right now. So when I do the leather your jacket. Own, or, sorry, I missed the word. Your own pattern. My own pattern. My own fabric. I'm doing that now. So it has the logos all over it. You know, it's going to be nice. So um, just just to give the consumers, the people that's in the culture, something new, something to rock, you know, mm-hmm. and just let it take off like Wi-Fi. And it will, you know. And it, people and it does. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. No, it's <laughs> exciting. It's exciting. <laughs> Uh, go ahead. Say it again. No, no. I said it's it's exciting. Very exciting, and the most exciting thing about it is that when the guys get it, buy it, they're not gonna want just one pair. They're gonna want the white. They're gonna want the red. They want the brown, and that's just money and money, money, money. So, I'm very excited. Very excited. <laughs> yeah. So, what is it that you want people to know when it comes to Stephen Dexter? I asked a lot of questions. Um, what I wanted to know about Stephen Dexter is he's not, I mean, it's, it's like I, w- I want my company to take up my personality. So it's like, this fuck is the bad. You know, he don't, he don't, he don't care about what people say. He's doing it his way. And I, res- if I don't, if I don't buy it, I respect that. You know, I respect that, 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 um, that that challenge, I respect how he coming at it, coming at it from a different way. And I respect his game. You know, it's all about respect, really. It's about if you're an entrepreneur, true entrepreneur. You know, it's all about respect. You want respect from your peers. You know, um, you don't have to buy it if you don't like it. If you can't that's write really that, but you're gonna have to goddamn respect it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And that's what I really want for my peers, the the rap ones, the you know Sean John, all these guys out there. You know, they go like, man, this guy in Miami, you got to watch out for this kid. And because, you know, I don't necessarily do it that way, but you got to respect him. You know what I'm saying? He's doing it. He's making his mark. He's making his own lane. I ain't copying nobody. I'm doing it my way. And uh, you got to respect that. So for me, with Stephen Dexter, it's all about respect. It's all about respect. I love that. Wow. I love this conversation. Like, thank you so much for your time today. Truly enjoyed the conversation. Today, guys, you had the special privilege of being able to pick a bit into the brain of Stephen Dexter, you know, (laughs) from Stephen Dexter's store (laughs) and designer, entrepreneur. He has a lot coming. You need to support our kings. As you said, we have these brands and everything, but this is how we build our people's brands and elevate and build up the community and really like support each other. Amen. So, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> was there anything the I like at the end of my show to give um, my guests their the floor to say anything that is on their mind that maybe we didn't get to say you have the mic? <laughs> oh wow! Um, just just be safe for one. I'm gonna get that out of there. Be safe for this, sure. this pandemic is really real, you know. Oh, yeah. So I want everybody to be safe for one. Uh, as far as Stephen Dester. Uh, this year is going to bump off. Uh, I have a strong. Um, I'm just going to push it out there. I'm going to. It's going to be strong. Uh, so anybody that wants to uh, check out my site, can I put my my definitely my most definitely. Okay. And I will have um, also when it's released, I will have everything like tagged for you. So like awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, my site is www.stephendesterusa.com. Check out the brand. Um, Leave some comments. Uh, you can go to my IG, which is official Stephen Dexter, and leave some comments on the, on the, which um, design do you like or uh, which which sneaker you like, whatever. Um, just do, please do that. But just just really for the entrepreneurs out there, really just be patient, um, keep going, don't give up, and uh, keep God first in your life. That's the key. Well said, well said. I wanna thank you so much for your time today. 
Everyone, this has been another week's episode of Downtown World. Don't waste no time with negativity. We're eating fruit and minding our business. We're supporting this king. We are visiting and following him on social media at official Stephen Dexter. And I will bring you to his landing page and support. And I can't wait to see it blow up. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Downtown. Downtown. Hey. Downtown. You're about to go downtown.